Hey, this is JR, aka The Tourist. Welcome to the Malaysian city of Georgetown and its grand hotel, the Eastern and Oriental. This seaside city on the island of Penang is the capital of the province bearing the same name. Georgetown is known for its colonial architecture, its famous street art, and its vibrant food scene. The e and as the hotel is known, has two of those three on offer. Come inside and I'll show you. But do remember, this is not a review. It's merely my impression of the property. The e and is not Georgetown's only five-star hotel, but it is the city's one true grand hotel. You'll see what I mean over the course of this tour. The hotel first opened in 1885, but my room, a studio suite king, is in the Victory Annex wing of the hotel, which opened in 2013 and was modeled on an earlier annex dating back to 1923. Welcome to room 903. The studio suite room is not a true suite, but it is a very spacious room. For the most part, the layout works well. The room decor continues the themes of the lobby and the hallway. I really like the look of this desk, although I didn't do any work at it, so I can't attest to its comfort. Part of why I picked this room is the balcony. In this view to the west of Georgetown and out over the Strait of Malacca. The bathroom is quite large, if a little sparse. This freestanding clawfoot tub is definitely the highlight here. The shower has a rain head and a handheld. The bathroom amenities are all branded Panpuri, which is the name of the hotel's spa. The bathroom is typical of the room, not overly luxurious, but well designed and functional. Here's the one element of the room that I find awkward, the placement of the sinks on either side of the bathroom. There's only one closet in the room, it was fine for me, but could get cramped for two people staying multiple days. There is a coffee machine, kind of a big deal. Many five-star hotels in Malaysia still only have instant coffee. The minibar has an assortment of complimentary soft drinks, which is nice as well. Now that we're settled in, 
let's see the amenities on this side of the hotel before walking over to see the older Heritage Wing. In the Victory Annex, the pool, the gym, and the spa are all on the fifth floor. There's not so much to say about the pool, so I'll just let it speak for itself. I will take this opportunity to say, if chasing these kinds of scenic vistas is your thing, consider subscribing to the channel. I post a new video every week, hotel tours, destination guides, and more. Join me, and we'll tour the world together. E&O's gym is well equipped and a nice size, especially for an older hotel. And I do love these murals. The Panpuri Spa is right next door to the gym. I didn't get any treatments here, but the spa manager was nice enough to give me a look around. As I mentioned, the hotel has two wings. I stayed in the newer Victory Annex. I knew the hotel had two sides when I booked my room. What I didn't realize is that the two wings each have their own entrance and reception desk. Let's go see what's on the other side. The Sarkis, two Armenian brothers who also opened the raffles in Singapore, opened the Eastern and Oriental. The E&O is a relic of Malaysia's colonial history, and that is on display here in the Heritage Wing. If you make it here, do spend some time perusing the old pictures that line the walls. It may spark your interest in learning more about the rich history of this part of the world. The hotel has four restaurants, plus a bar. This is the Palm Court, which is the Heritage Wing's main restaurant. We will visit the Annex's restaurant for their breakfast buffet. As Penang is one of the world's great culinary destinations, I did most of my eating outside of the hotel, but I did have an evening cocktail at Farquhar's Bar. I also went to Sarkis in the morning for their breakfast buffet. Sarkis Buffet is well known in Georgetown and a popular spot for lunch. Breakfast was good, though not exceptional by Malaysian standards. The standout item is the Char Kway Tao, made to order at the walk station. Weather permitting, do take a stroll on the seaward side of the hotel. Enjoy the ENO's facade and cherish whatever breeze makes it in from the straits. I hope that you've enjoyed this look inside the Eastern and Oriental. Click the like button and help the video spread. 
and stay tuned for future hotel impressions, destination guides, and more. Thanks for watching.